How far would you travel for a friend? For author and friendship expert Sherry Lead, it is to at least all 50 states. Karen Millette is here to tell us about Sherry's quest to find friendships all across the U.S. and find the things that unite us. Sounds like she's a busy lady. Good morning. Very busy. A lot of states in just a year. Wow. Under a year. Wow. So a lot of traveling. Mm. Yeah, she's got some work to do. <laughs> so since January, Sherry has made it her mission to visit 50 women in 50 states. Some of the women she knows, some she does not. And Sherry says even if we have different beliefs and backgrounds, having a conversation can lead to a meaningful connection. And those kind of connections can change the world. So she's on this mission. She's calling it the 50 States Project, and she's documenting it all on social media. A lot of the women she's met have been strangers or people that she's worked with but vir not virtually but never met in person. Sherry will be in Pennsylvania this weekend and the connection she'll be making here is a unique one. She's meeting up with an old childhood friend, Deirdre Campbell in Phoenixville. This is Sherry and Dee Dee together at a birthday party when they were just five years old. They grew up together in Seattle but haven't seen each other for many years. This project has been a whirlwind and was kind of kick-started back in 2017 when Sherry was diagnosed with breast cancer. Since then, she says she tries to live purposefully and has been exploring what friendships mean and how important they are to our health, mental and physical. Sherry did not get to travel much growing up. Her Japanese-American parents were interred during World War II and they did not feel welcome traveling in the U.S. after that experience. After this project, Sherry will have visited all 50 states. So Pennsylvania will be state number 26 and then she'll have 24 more to go. So luckily we live in a uh, an area where you can get a lot of states in in mm -hmm. a short amount of time. So she's traveling to quite a few of those. But she says she's really interested to sit down with these women and have a conversation over a meal. And she said it's not even so much what they believe in, like in terms of religion or politics, but why they believe what they believe in. Mm -hmm. She feels like that's the kind of connection that can start a bigger conversation. Wow. So she's, uh, she's really Really having a blast doing all this and you can see in the way that she meets with the people everybody's got smiles and just really having a great time what a fun mm. little journey she's yeah. on right That's yeah neat. Oh, very cool cool right. hope she has fun in phoenixville thanks karen <laughs> <laughs> all right we'll be right back